Elon Musk is quite the character on Twitter. His quirkiness and eccentricity are something that keeps him in the news at all times. From fixing power problems in Australia to helping kids trapped in a cave in Thailand, he's known for his funny tweets, his beef, and his odd dares. But when it comes to his space company, SpaceX, Musk gets serious. Like the love relationship between Tony Stark and Jarvis, Musk has blind faith in SpaceX. The head of Russia's space program made a bold statement that they have a new rocket a more that's even better than SpaceX's Falcon 9. Is Russia secretly dominating the space wars, or is it just the old commie swagger still kicking in? Will the Falcon feel the heat, or will the Amor's ambitions remain grounded? Let's find out. Once the titan of the skies, Russia's rocket industry is now navigating through turbulent times. The sector is grappling with challenges like aging technology, slashed budgets, and the Ukraine conflict deterring Western alliances. It's a tough pill for Russian leaders to swallow, let alone explain to their space-proud populace who cherish their cosmic conquests. Amidst this backdrop, Roscosmos chief Yuri Borisov took the stage at the Tsiolkovsky State Museum of the History of Cosmonautics, a sanctuary of space lore. Addressing a crowd peppered with eager students and wide-eyed tourists, Borisov launched into a bold proclamation. He pitted the Falcon 9's respectable tenfold reuse against Russia's new star on the blueprint, the Amor CNG rocket. With a twinkle in his eye, he declared the Amor CNG's first stage wouldn't just match, but potentially decimate the competition by being reusable up to a staggering 100 times. This, Borisov beamed, will rocket its development costs into a black hole of profitability. Russia's space program is striving to keep up with the rapid pace set by SpaceX, which has launched an impressive 36 rockets in 2024 alone. Russia, on the other hand, has managed only six. Yuri Borisov of Roscosmos aimed to reassure an audience curious about this disparity with claims of Russia's future prowess in rocket reusability. SpaceX has recently marked a milestone by launching a Falcon 9 rocket for the 20th time, while Russia has yet to recycle a rocket's first stage even once. The Amor CNG rocket, powered by compressed natural gas, remains a concept rather than a reality, despite being touted as a budget-friendly rival to the Falcon 9. Initially promised for 2026, the launch of the Amor CNG has been pushed back to possibly 2028 or 2029, casting doubt on its materialization. Even if the Amor CNG does take off around 2030, history suggests that achieving frequent reuse like SpaceX's current rate could be a journey spanning decades for Roscosmos. Russia's space agency Roscosmos has been stirring up excitement for its Amor rocket, which is still in the conceptual phase. The Amor, a medium-lift rocket, is said to be inspired by SpaceX's Falcon, the trailblazer of reusable rockets. With similar features like landing legs and grid fence, the Amori aims to make spaceflight more economical, boasting a potential payload capacity of 10.5 tons to low Earth orbit for an estimated $22 million. However, despite the initial announcement targeting a 2026 debut, recent updates suggest a delay with the first launch possibly slipping to 2028 or 2029. This has led to speculation that the Amor rocket remains a blueprint with its existence and development still uncertain. SpaceX, on the other hand, has been setting impressive records with the Falcon 9, which has seen a booster fly for the 19th time, showcasing the company's rapid advancement in rocket reusability. If Roscosmos manages to launch the Amor in the near future, it would still be playing catch-up, potentially taking until the mid-2040s to reach the milestone of 20 flights for a single rocket stage. The journey of Russia's Angara rocket serves as a cautionary tale for the ambitious Amor project. Post-Soviet Russia embarked on the Angara venture in 1992, but it wasn't until 2014 that the rocket first kissed the sky. Even now, Angara is still in the testing phase, which is still far from achieving its full potential. With Russia's focus split between space endeavors and military engagements, notably the conflict with Ukraine, the development of the Amor rocket faces skepticism. 
The Angara's prolonged timeline raises questions about how swiftly Ross Cosmos can bring the innovative Amor to fruition, especially given its advanced features like vertical landings and reusability. SpaceX's Falcon 9 isn't just busy, it's the busiest rocket in the world right now. With a staggering 334 launches under its belt, this rocket is the epitome of success and reliability. In just the first quarter of the year, it's seen 300 successful landings and 271 reflights of its first stage boosters, showcasing an impressive track record. SpaceX is not one to rest on its laurels. Out of a whopping 148 planned launches for the year, 39 have already been completed, surpassing last year's total of 98. The Falcon 9 continues to break new ground, achieving its 20th booster landing recently, a testament to its unmatched reusability. Looking ahead, SpaceX isn't just aiming for the stars, but also for a new milestone of 40 landings for a single booster. Given their history of making the impossible possible, this goal seems well within reach. What truly sets SpaceX apart is its rapid pace. The company has set a new standard for quick turnarounds between launches, a feat that keeps them firmly on track to meet their ambitious goals for the year. Roscosmos, once a leader in space exploration, has faced significant challenges in recent years. One of the primary issues is the reliance on outdated technology. While the space industry has seen rapid innovation, particularly with the advent of reusable rockets by companies like SpaceX, Roscosmos has struggled to keep up. The Proton rocket, a long-running workhorse, has encountered reliability issues and is nearing retirement. The next generation Angara rocket is still not operational, conducting test flights with dummy payloads decades after its development began. Finally, Roscosmos has been hit hard, suffering heavy losses and becoming increasingly dependent on imported electronics for satellite production. This reliance has been exacerbated by international sanctions and the loss of access to Western markets following geopolitical events. The agency's budget constraints have led to a lack of clear strategy and difficulties in allocating adequate resources for development and innovation. When compared to SpaceX, Roscosmos falls short in several areas. SpaceX has revolutionized the concept of reusability with the Falcon 9, achieving rapid turnaround time for launches and significantly reducing costs. The company has also developed in-house production capabilities, further cutting expenses and increasing efficiency. In contrast, Roscosmos has yet to demonstrate a successful reusable launch system and its development timeline suggests that it may take decades to reach the level of efficiency and reusability that SpaceX currently exhibits. Despite these challenges, Roscosmos has expressed a desire to restore its position in the global launch market. The agency is working on developing partially reusable rockets and aims to have a new fleet of space vehicles by the late 2040s. However, with the current pace of development and the financial obstacles it faces, Roscosmos has a steep hill to climb to compete with the likes of SpaceX and other emerging players in the reusable rocket sector. The future of Roscosmos' reusability ambitions will depend on overcoming these significant hurdles and embracing the innovation that's driving the space industry forward. The recent Russian claim that their new Methalox first stage is reusable up to 50 or even 100 times has sparked global debate. While some cheer Russia's boldness, others dismiss it as Soviet-era bravado. But let's break it down. The Falcon 9, a benchmark for reusability, typically flies more than 10 times. Russia's claim seems ambitious but rather impractical according to various academics who took to X to debunk these claims. The Russians mentioned methane, but it must be in liquid form for rocket propulsion. A heavy pressure vehicle won't cut it. Is there any validity for what the Russians have to say, or is it merely a feeble attempt to reclaim the lost prestige? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more thrilling space content. See you guys next time!